Is V-Rising worth your time? Well, the short answer is yes, but let me tell you why. This game has crafting, building, sword fighting, spell casting, and sucking. Yes, like you literally suck the blood out of your enemies. Now, if you don't know yet, V Rising is a survival crafting game that you can play with friends as a co op, or you can play in PvP servers and play against other players. Whatever floats your boat. In V Rising, you get to play as a vampire, and the goal is to be the strongest one there is in Vardaron. You'll end up fighting bosses to work up the ranks and to unlock gear to help you progress. The boss fight's difficulty varies, some are easy to beat, and some are close to mind-numbing bullshittery that you'll just oh, no, end up smashing your keyboard. Now, my friends and I play this game as a co-op since we really don't vibe with the survival PvP thing. Personally, I don't want to grind my stuff and just end up getting looted when I get to bed, so there's that. Anyways, since I really don't want to spoil anything, I'll just try to list up the things that might spark your interest for this game. And hopefully not mention things that you might consider a spoiler. You start up as a new vampire, you'll get through a quick tutorial, especially on the combat mechanic side of things, and once you're done, the game will make you choose your starting area. The game kinda holds your hand a little, especially on the early game, so I don't know what you guys think about that, but personally, I like it. Since some of these games are just downright overwhelming, that a little hand holding won't hurt. It's pretty simple compared to other survival games that I've played since they give you a quest type thingy so you can just follow that. Combat is pretty simple but it's engaging enough to keep you entertained. You have a lot of choices when it comes to weapons and these weapons have their own abilities and stats so you can adjust it to your playstyle. Which brings me to the topic of build crafting where you can build your own character like if you want to be a spellcaster, a bruiser, or a ranger you get the gist. It has armor choices and certain abilities that complement each playstyle, so do with that info as you will. Now let's get to building. Building in this game is pretty addicting. You're gonna start off with simple wood palisades and you can work your way up to the stone castle walls and stuff. Me? I am not a creative guy but I still ended up building a pretty decent castle. There's a lot to talk about in this game if I really want to, but I don't want to spoil your experience if you do end up playing this game. My friends and I still haven't finished the game, partly because we're playing it on brutal difficulty and partly because I have school and work at the same time, so free time is not so free. You get the gist. I originally wanted to make a playthrough video but don't really know how to at the moment. And honestly don't know if that's something people want to watch, so there's that too. But maybe, maybe some ideas in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do end up playing V-Rising, I hope you enjoy your time, because I know I did. I mean, I still do, you know, because we're yet to finish the game. So, I'll see you guys on the next one.